Okay, I, I think our education system mm. is so wrong. You don't think so? Our education system does not bring the real potential within us. Well, according to my thinking, mm. uh, our education system has been designed to keep Africa where it is. If Africans were trained to do the right things, then uh, Africa would not be the same. But what is happening is uh, they are teaching something which would not uh, make sense to our economies. I, I, uh, it's like uh, uh, this is why it's uh, imposed us this education so that we keep memorizing things. Huh? They did not open an education system where somebody can think on his own and do something, but rather memorize uh, a grasshopper, a head, a thorax, abdomen, something like that. <laughs> so we need to find a way how we can help our own people yeah. to produce and do the right thing so that our economy is going to grow. Cool. I don't know how many times I need to convince you all that Africans are creative, Africans are innovative, and Africans are super talented. The only problem that we have in Africa is our education system that was imposed on us to make Africans feel inferior, to make Africans believe that they cannot achieve anything in this world. That's why I agree with Kwame Nkrumah saying that a black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Malawi has really surprised me. The stories that I'm telling from Malawi, even me as an African, I'll be like, you know what? This is super crazy. Come closer. These are young Malawians. Are you all from Malawi? Yeah, we're yeah. all from Malawi. These are young Africans that identified a problem and decided to come up with a solution. Are you all engineers? No, no. we are not engineers. None of you? None of us. It, we're just secondary school. Level. Secondary school level. Imagine if our education system started teaching us how to be creative when we are in primary school. You know what? I'm talking so much because I'm super proud of you all. Wow. Do you know what they did? Or are you guys going to tell them? We are going to tell them. Feel free and tell yeah. them then. And this what you are seeing here is a simmer cooking machine. We've come up with this idea when we, we've seen how we've been suffering, how to make, how to cook simmer, and sometimes we see people who are disabled, they can't cook simmer. So we thought of them too, and to save our time, we think we're gonna create, make something that can cook simmer so easy and possible, that can save time and everything. That's why we come up with this machine. <laughs> if you don't know what Insima is, Insima is a staple food in Malawi. And if you go to Kenya, they call it Ugali. If you come to Ghana, we call it what? Banku or Akpele. I mean, we spend so much time cooking food that will last for maybe five minutes. And these guys are solving that problem. You know, cooking an ordinary Insima in the local way, yeah. How many minutes does it take? It takes up to an hour. To cook one food? One, one food, yeah. That you finish it in finish five in minutes? Five, five to ten minutes to be done with it. With your invention? You can cook it in like 17 minutes, yeah. 27 minutes, and 47 minutes. And it's all done. Wow. And you guys are high school, secondary school? Yeah, yeah, secondary school. Secondary school. How, how did you come up with this concept? Just thinking about, thinking about how much time we spend cooking sima, how disabled people can't cook on sima, and then we thought of making this machine. So it's electric? Yeah, it's electric. You guys put the materials together to yeah. make it happen? Yeah. yeah. Can, can you show me how it works? Okay, how it works? First, <coughs> here. Oh wow, wow! See, can I see it? So the local in Sima, you guys designed this one too. Yeah, we design it. Jeez, look at that! You see, like the local one, you have to. Yeah, the it. the local one will be like. And what are you gonna do with this one? Just fix it. We'll oh. fix it. Okay. And 
there is a threaded bar that is connected to the wooden wooden stick. Really? Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Then we put the port. And fasten it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's the side. Those are the port holders so that the port won't be moving. Yeah. <laughs> and these the cups we measure how many people will eat their simmer. Mm. And we say if it's for a single person, we use that one cup. It's two people, two cups. Three or four people can use three cups. Wow. Yeah. And that there is done. For four That's to it. three people, they are safe. Yeah. And this side we are done. We can close it. I close it. Yeah. Then we come here. This is where we put our maize flour. Hey, and these two plates. Switch it on. It's electric. Yeah, it's electric. What are you doing? Turning. Wow. The There's a controller for it. And I, I, I was just <laughs> pressing it. I thought I'm going to just take <laughs> yeah. it. Wow. And then okay. we put our maize flour. You measure that one too? Yeah, yeah, measure. When cooking sima, here in Malawi, everyone knows it has three st two stages. The mm. first one, we use the first flour when the whole water is warm, and they say they first uh, this this one. The first the first spread turns when it turns, it stirs the water, it mixes the water with flour, mm. and when the porridge is set, it stops rotating. Then when the porridge is ready to be cooked from simmer, then the second spread tense for the final stage of cooking sim. This is the second plate. Okay. This is no, no, I mean this is the first plate mm. and this is the second, second plate. One. Yeah. When it's all when we start we got when we start it, this will be will turn first and this will turn okay. last. And now we, we can close, close it. We are done here. So this is the timer. We said how many minutes we want to cook the simmer. And this because it's for for three people who said it. Then we this is start. I said. You're done. Yeah, it's done. So you can go and do whatever you want. You can do whatever do you want. You save more and time. After 50 minutes, Sim will be ready. You can just come take it. Everything done. How long did it take you guys to build this? This took us like two months to build this one. Are you all in the same school? No. Like no, same different. Village. The same, same village. Yeah. Okay, so you are not from you are from different school, but same village. Same village, yeah. So in the village, that's why you guys came up with this concept. Yeah. yeah. So how did you weld the machines together, the, the the parts together? How did you weld them? Uh, we bought like we want something like a board. We go to the shop, buy a board. Mm. Then we want some components on the board. We go to the shop, search for them, buy them and fix on the board. Some things like, you can see this is, yeah. this is a cooker. It it. A cooker. Yeah, yeah, this is for cooker. Yeah. We bought a door from the used cooker that is broken. Yeah. Then this is the microwave. We bought a microwave that is not working. We just take this part. Okay. So we can... So we pick components yeah, from, different pick places from different places. And then yeah. we fix them together. Yeah. With the idea of cooking in with, with the idea of cooking in Because if you... Uh, oh. Man, I wish I can open again. Yeah, you can. I can open it again. Yeah, I'm so open. sorry. It's my cooking. You see, you see this 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 part. Yeah. The way it is right now, it's like it, it was fixed. It was like 
different materials that was cut together yeah. to make this part. Yeah. Sure. Okay, this, you guys are solving a problem. Yeah. You know? So and we believe people are going to love this. This is a prototype. This is the first one. No, this is not the first one. This is like th third one. Third one? Yeah. Ha wow, you guys have built two of these before? Yeah, we, we built two of these before. Mm. And this is the third one. Third one? Yeah. That's, that's amazing. So who bought the first one? No one bought it. We keep it at home. The second one? The second one, we keep it. And we keep this one too. I'm taking it to Ghana. But, 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 but you are all in secondary school. Yeah. yeah. Believe me, putting money together to fix this will be a major challenge, right? Yeah, yeah. very much. Who, who supported the dream with money? Right? Dr. Napoleon Zombe did support us with the money to build this. Wow. Cause did you guys go to him or he came to you guys? We, we came to him. Okay. And we say, like, Doctor, we have this idea mm. to solve this problem. And mm. he saw it, he was like, this is brilliant. Wow. Then he was like, I'm going to give you something that you can make something. Then we build, then we come with the first one. He gave us the money, we, we build the second, second one. one. Yeah. We bring it here, he said, oh, you see, this is good. But you have to improve it in some ways. Okay. Then we are like, ah, okay. And he gave us the money, improve it. Then we come up with this. But we have to improve it in some ways. Okay. Then we are like, ah, okay. And he gave us the money, improve it. Then we come up with this. And we are still working on it. To improve on to it Im again. Improve, improve on it again. And what about this one? Is it a cooker? Or? This year, uh, these are quails. When okay. you're cooking sima there, or you want to cook relish, you can come here. You cook relish using these plates. If you want to cook another thing, like if you want to cook a uh, capado. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want to cook capado, you can you cook can it here. This uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I'm so proud of you guys, man. Um, no, thanks. You know, it shows that Africans are capable of doing so many things. Yeah, well, we can do a lot. What has been the major challenge? What, what do you guys think is the major challenge that is facing you guys, man? The major challenge that we are facing right now mm. is the availability of the materials that we use. Because we can go to the shops, search for some other things. We can find them here. So we just, that's why we came up with the idea of buying this door, this door, a cooker's door, that microwave to use those other parts. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And financially. Financially yeah. is a problem. It's a problem. These, these are the things that African government needs to support. They need to support talent like this, you know. For us to big, for us to build Africa, man. Because it's not easy. A lot of youth got ideas, but there's no support. If, if Mr. Napoleon did not support, definitely you guys won't be able to build. be able to build this one. I really love how you support the dreams of young people. Yeah. Well, why? Why do you support? Even the government we have don't support our dreams, but you're supporting the dreams of so many young people. Well, the future of our countries is in the hands of the young people. So if our people are not supported, it means we have a dead future. So we have to help young people so that they can have a good platform where they can start their mission of taking this country forward. In Kasungu, Mm. Uh, just in two weeks, I've taken uh, 55 graduates wow. to my site. And I've decided that each one of them, I have to find something around $5,000. Uh, it will be given as a loan. And I have given them my own land so that they can start producing potatoes, producing uh, tomatoes. Some will also be raising chickens and fish 
if these guys now they are going to qualify for one year, mm. then thereafter they will go to their various homes in different parts of the country. Then there they can start their own businesses. So the moment they will start their own businesses, then jobs will be created. Richard. And a lot of guys now will be generating enough income to support themselves as well as others. You know, I've, I just interviewed young men who invented the Insima cooking yeah. machine and they're telling me that you supported them with money. Yeah, well, the first machine which they built was a very small one and it was not presentable. Mm. So I had to give them about 350,000 kwaja to come up with something improved. Yeah. So after that one, then I said, yeah, you have done much better, but mm. you can improve other areas. So I gave them one million kwaja. Mm. So after I had given them one million kwaja, now that's when they came up with that thing. That, the one that is there. Yeah. Had it been that they were not supported, now they will have nothing to show. So it's advisable for every gym and jag who has at least some money mm. to help these young mm. guys mm. to kickstart a modern life. That's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Really amazing. Sure. Well, I'm targeting about 500 uh, graduates. Those in uh, agriculture sector, those in science technology. Mm. Uh, we have to support these guys so that they can show uh, uh, what they think would be profitable to, the, to their country. Well, my dream for Malawi is uh, uh, to find a very good Malawi by empowering our own people. You know, the hands of our economies depends on our capabilities. Mm. So the moment we have uh, much uh, energy and the vision, then you have a good plan, then you hard work, that would take us somewhere. So according to what I am doing, I think within five years from today, our economy in Malawi will not be as it is. So we have six seconds to go. Like a minute. After it's now. It's, it's done. done. Yeah. Please, do we have a uh, caparo? No. <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> when it's ready, you can see here in, uh, open door. Open door. When now we can open means, it. Yeah, we can open. I'm it. Just, I just want to open so badly. Mm. Wow. The shima is ready. The shima is ready. And we pull this up. And first we remove. The Let me put it there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Nsima is ready. Nsima is ready. What are we eating in Nsima with? Chicken. Where's the chicken? chicken oh, it's here. Ah, yeah. you guys are the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> guys are the best. You cook. So you use this one to cook the chicken too? Yeah. yeah. Wow, two in one. <laughs> I, I have to taste it to make sure that. Can I get something to wash my hands, man? Nishima is ready. Hi, hey, this is road run now. Home chicken. <laughs> the local one. Where do I put this? Oh. Man, you guys, we are Africans, man. Why are we wasting so much time? <laughs> In Africa, we eat together. Hey, Joshua, don't wash your hands. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, don't wash your hands. Are we starting? No. Oh, no. You should start with a prayer first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the pastor among us? Dear God, bless the food. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the shortest prayer ever. Yeah. Have we tasted the locally made cooking simmer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. It tastes the same. Mm, very nice. Yehoa. Mm. <laughs> you know that feeling? When something is hot and you swallow it. Yeah. Oh, 
just like that, food is ready. So basically you can literally set it up and go and do your thing and come back and eat.